All right, so in this problem, the problem says the quantity of charge through a conductor is modeled as Q is 4 times T, Q, T to the power 4. Um, again, by the way, uh, let's make sure we understand units. Q is charge that's measured in coulombs. So, and you have T to the power of 4, T is measured in seconds. T is, has dimensions of time. So this constant, you see, has coulombs divided by second to the power 4. The second to the power 4 will cancel that and you'll get coulombs. So dimensionally, what you need to make sure is that each of these terms, this is an apple, this is in coulombs, so each of those terms needs to be a coulomb. Okay. So if this is apples, each of those terms need to be an apple. So this works out, this is coulombs per second and the second will get canceled by the t second for the t. So that will be in coulombs and there this is in coulombs as well. Okay. So, but again I won't be writing all that stuff. So, so here is the chart that has flown across a point of a conductor that you're standing. And so here is the functional form. Okay. Now uh, here's a here's something you have to be careful of. Let's let me point this. This is in milli coulomb, and all these terms are in coulomb. So actually, we'd better change that to coulomb. So this constant is ten minus three coulombs. Okay. All right, what is the, the question is, what is the current at time t equal to 3 seconds? The current at any time is given by d, the rate at which the charge is flowing. And 16 t cubed minus 1. That's the current at any time. And all they're asking you to do is evaluate it at uh, t equal to 3 seconds. So t equal to 3 seconds, uh, that's 20, uh, 27, 16 into 27, 431 amps. Okay, so that's a fairly large current.